put this huge T-Rex and it just looks absolutely awesome. Hi guys, it's Paul. I'm just here with the HoloLens. I'm going to run you through calibration and downloading apps and things like that and also kind of give you my first impressions. I've already been using it for a little while because our camera ran out of battery, but this is kind of just going to be me recapping what I thought when I first used it. So let's go ahead and recalibrate it right now. So this app calibrates, so first, it should load up this screen that you're seeing now. Cortana's going to run us through it. When you're ready, say next. Next. Now we'll I'm actually really impressed with her voice recognition. You. She does it really well. She really got, gets it down. She, I think sure I've used Siri before and I was not impressed. She, I, Cortana and this device target, Etsy seems to work a lot better for me like at least. And Etsy understanding what you're saying. So now I'm just going to do this calibration you where you just move your finger in front of you and we'll close one eye. Right so I'll close While my left eye here and get it ready. Right Alright, come on. Now you try it. For best results, close your other eye. You got it. A few more to go. If you need to, you can say start over anytime. She really does a good job of mapping where your fingers are, which I was really impressed with. And really with your head as well. Nothing's like the shakiness is me shaking because I'm a shaky idiot. But um, it's it does a really good job of just knowing where you are. Close your other eye. So let's just get this done. So they're all like filling up green, and it actually does a really good job of knowing where my finger is. There we go. All done. So Your now it's all calibrated and calibrated we're ready to go. You. So if you feel any discomfort, I think break. we'll open up some maps and check it out. Right. And Come back to we'll look at some cool holograms and see what's up. Alright guys, so now we're just going to look at some apps and r really just the apps that came with it. We already did download a couple as I mentioned. Our camera died so we're going to have to deal with that. But we already downloaded some pretty cool ones but we're just going to go over the basic ones. So the first one I'm going to open up here is a hologram app. And as you can see, I can just put it wherever, and the experience with even these holograms to show it, it actually feels like it's, it just belongs there. It actually feels natural. And so, here you see a bunch of holograms. Let me adjust that so you can get a better view. So yeah, it's really easy to just adjust things, and I just say, done. And then, let's just pick out one. So, this bird looks pretty cool. Let's put out the bird. So I'll put out the bird into the room, probably right next to, right there. And then... Yeah, click on it, and it will actually start making noises and moving around. It's, you can see it's hopping around, flapping its wings. And the experience on the HoloLens actually makes it look like it's just floating there. And it's a lot different than, like, say, it doesn't look like it's over, overlaid like it might in this video. It actually looks awesome. It, it looks super real, like 3D. Like, I can walk around it and see different parts of it, as you can see. And even the menu is 3D. So this is just a really cool, just kind of demo of the HoloLens, I'd say. I don't know, I was really impressed with this app when it when we first tried it out. And it just, everything just looks so good with it. So let's move on to another app. Let's, why don't we? So I'll remove this Holograms app, open up, the Bloom Jester opens up the main menu. So let's do, let's just go check out the web browser, shall we? Maybe, so I'll put it on this wall here. So on this wall, and then we'll adjust it out, make it a little bigger. So let's just, there we go, perfect. And then we'll go. Instead of air tapping the keyboard, you can also use your voice. Select the microphone on so the keyboard. So Cortana's just telling me that I can use her, the voice. So I'm actually going to show you guys the voice functionality right now. Okay. YouTube.com. And you can see that got it perfectly. So now I'm just going to go enter. And it will load up. 
Here, let me back up because the field of view is actually considerably smaller than what you're seeing. The camera's showing a considerable more amount of screen than me. I can probably only see about 40% of what you're seeing with, as a hologram right now. So it's just interesting. So let's let's search a video, shall we? Um, where? Oh, crap. Let me close this ad because ads are annoying. Okay. Why isn't the... Oh, there we go. So now I'm just going to search again. So, oh, crap. Well, you can actually see how good the voice functionality is, but let me cancel that. Alright. The Hollow Herald? Oh, that's not going to work. So now we're just going to load up our YouTube channel, and as you can see, the f the tap function is actually incredibly accurate. I don't know, it works really well with tracking my hands, and I was really impressed with that. I find it actually the easiest way to use the device, is actually just using the hand gestures that they built for it. I don't know, it just works really well for me. So now I just press enter, and there's our video right there, so you just click, and then it will load up. Okay. This is what we believe. And yeah. This is so now I'm just gonna I'll mute it. And then yeah, it just works perfectly. Really, the, the video is it, it looks like I'm just using like my computer, like my laptop that's sitting on the desk right there. It's 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 no different than using the browser on your computer, which is I was really impressed with. It doesn't even feel like using a mobile device's browser. It's just it just it just works. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the store and some of the things you can buy. So let's take that, and I, it will actually follow my head around until I decide to place it. And you can see I, I can adjust it and remove it. So I'm going to actually place it on the desk again, just so you can get a better idea. And it, I like it on the desk because it actually makes me feel like I'm using a monitor. I'm actually going to adjust this so I can get a better view of what we're seeing here. And then I'll say done. And then, so it has adjust, remove, it has a scroll tool, so that's just, you, you, you tap, and then you hold, and you can actually move it around like that. It's not working for me right now because I clicked on the wrong part of it, but you can see there that I got it. The clicker actually makes this a lot easier, and yeah, that's kind of how the scroll tool works, and then drag tool won't work here. Well, it might actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to allow me to change how the... Well, it's actually an easier way to scroll to get a more like controlled scroll because it's not using an accelerometer that way. Then zoom tool is what you think it would be. You just tap, hold, and then you go up to zoom in, down to zoom out. Uh, on this page, I don't need to zoom in and zoom out because it's uh, it's a scaled page, so that doesn't really matter. But let's go. So I'll scroll back up to the made for Hololens section, and I'll go into show all. In here, you can see all the apps that are made out for HoloLens right now. They even have a couple paid apps, actually, which I was surprised about when I first opened it up. But I don't think we're going to buy any yet until we get through all these free apps. And we'll, we'll, we'll go through and show you how all these apps work and if like do reviews of them and if we like them or and not. So, and whatnot. So, the store app, yeah, as you can see, it just feels like... Oh, I bloom there. So, as, as you can see... it. It's just like a desktop. It looks like I, for me, it looks like I have like you know, a 32 inch monitor on this desk in front of me right now. So I, I don't know. I'm really impressed with it. And it even makes it more real because you can see this is a 3D rendering of the browser's window. So I can even get up behind it. It's just blue, but like you can see it's 3D. It's not just overlaid. It's, it's not, it's in the room. It's static in the room. So we'll just remove that and then bloom again. The bloom function works really well. I don't know. I'm I'm just really impressed with all the gestures on this so far. And settings, it looks just like we'll put those on the table too. And you can see like it's spatial awareness. Once it scans the room, it knows where tables are, it knows where chairs are. It even scans people sometimes, which is pretty cool. And you can see the settings is just system devices network and internet so really anything that you had on Windows 10 you can actually adjust in on the HoloLens itself it's pretty cool um, and that's really all we're gonna show you of setting 
So, you, but, but like, among things, you, you can pair it to your laptop like we just did actually to record this video. And from there, you can actually see the device's location, you can record and do a bunch of other cool things. So, everything about this just has a lot of cool functionality right now, and it'll be exciting to see, I think. E everything just looks beautiful with it. I don't know, I've, I've been really impressed as of now with just how the HoloLens is working and just what it looks like. And you got the feedback hub. So here you can actually access this online, but this is the this is like the forums of the website uh, of Microsoft, where of the Hololens forums. So you can actually talk to other people who are developing for it. As you can see, it's taken a little while to load up, but there you go. You get your build, you get documentation, you get uh, oh, you actually get more. It actually teaches you more about voice controls and stuff, so I don't know, that's really cool. Um, it tells you about updates and a bunch of other stuff, so if we go into... Uh, yeah, it's just a really cool functionality. I don't know, there's a lot of cool possibilities with the HoloLens that I'm already like seeing and thinking about. And right now it's just working really well. Um, it takes pictures super well, so I could just go, Hey Cortana? Hey Cortana? Take a picture. And I don't know if that worked, but as you can see, she actually like recognized my voice as taking a picture and she'll actually take a picture or she'll start recording if I say record this. So, hey guys, so I kind of just put a room together real quick about with just a bunch of holograms in it. So I've got a web browser here on bbc.com. It's just it's just kind of showing that you can use a web browser while there's holograms while another app is running and it's pretty cool so i've got like this a little space scene set up here so this red planet with the moons around it showing their orbits and stuff it actually it looks a lot less shaky than i think it is showing up in the video like it looks stable it looks like it might be there the only thing that's stopping it from from me believing that it's there is that just the graphics aren't there yet but in the future this thing could definitely do that but as you can see I've got this entire space thing set up so I've got the earth here and I don't know if you can see this but they actually like rendered in like actual terrain to the earth so you can see like there's ice caps sticking out of the water there and it's really cool the moon I don't know if I can get a good look at this but the moon looks good too it just it's just an excellent model and then we've got spaceman satellite space shuttle again the the web browser and then we've got the red planet and i also put down this and this was my favorite hologram that i put out actually i mean this t-rex looks awesome like all the teeth are individual and it just looks great and then i've got this uh little weightlifter who actually moves so once i load that up He'll actually start talking to you, and he'll wait, he'll wait lift. But I'm not going to go through all of that because it takes a little while to finish that hologram. But so, as you can see, it just the room just works with a ton of holograms around, and and it actually feels like they're there. But I don't know. It's just I, it's just a really cool experience. So, for anyone who doesn't know, what the Hollow Herald is about is we're trying to fill kind of a content hole where there's not a lot of content being put out about the HoloLens. So we're trying to do news stories, app reviews, really anything to do with augmented and mixed reality and just kind of look at it and kind of give you guys a scoop on it. So if you like what we're doing or the idea of what we're doing, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you don't, you could still like and subscribe because we could use it and it really doesn't hurt you much, I don't think. So yeah, thanks for watching the Hollow Herald. Other than...